this example, we're going to be copying list values from one document, creating a brand new document and adding it into the second. Also how you can select that target document by its ID and also the source document by its ID. So it's all coming up in this lesson. Log into your Google account and we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a brand new doc. I'm just over in my Google Drive selecting a doc and this is going to be a blank brand new document and this is going to be the testing document that we're going to be applying the list to and what we want to do in this exercise is select out the lists, the bullet lists. So we're going to create a bullet list and then add a few items into the bullet list. And what we want to do then is we want to copy the full list over into a brand new document. So we're going to be looking through this current document as our active document and then copying over the content into a brand new document. And we can do this in a number of ways. In this case, what we'll do it is we're going to set this up as using the active document and then we'll create a brand new document on the fly when we run the function. So going into the extensions, select apps script and within the apps script, this is where we can select and update and create the script that we're going to be running in the project. I'm just going to give it a quick name of test and we're going to zoom in on the text. The way that you can do that is you can right click anywhere on the app script editor and then select the command palette or use the shortcut for the command palette. And then this will open up the command palette where you've got a number of different commands that you can run. The one that I'm using to zoom in is editor zoom in text and that will make the font bigger. You don't have to do this. This was only for the recording purposes of video. So create a function. I'm going to call this function copy bullets. And once we run the functions, what we want to do is we want to select the contents of the current active document. So this can be a the source document. So I'll give it a variable name of source document. And then we're going to be using the document app service, getting the active document. So that's going to select the current active document. And we want to get all of the bullet list from the active document. So this is going to be the list items within the active document using the source doc object that we just selected, which is the current active document. And this can only be done with a bound script. If you're using a standalone, standalone document or standalone script, then you need to access the document by its ID. You can get the document ID. Typically, the best way to get it is within the browser URL, and that's the ID of this particular document. But because this is a bound script, we can use the active document in order to make the selection. So we select the get body. So that's going to select the entire body contents of the document. And from there, we want to get the list items. And this is going to return back all of the list items that we currently have within the document. We can output that within the logger log in order to see the current list items that we have from the document. And this is just a way to debug it and check. So let's uh, actually update this to copy list. We have to authorize the script in order to act as us, be able to access the document and run the script. So these are just the permissions that I'm just running through quickly in order to access. And there it's picked up all of the four list items that we have. If we have a second list, let's run the script again. And that's going to pick up all eight list items. So what we want to do is we want to create a new document that we're going to be adding the list items into. And this, once again, it could be a new document or it can be an existing document. And in this case, we're going to be creating a new document using the document app create method. And we need to provide a name for the document and I'll just call it new document bullets. And we want to also then select the body of the target. So selecting the target body and here we can use the target document and get the body. So this will give us access in order to be right into that new document that we just selected and then using a for loop. Let's loop through all of the list items that we currently have within the 
source list, and the list items that we've just selected from the document. And we loop through while list items length, because we do see that we are producing an array. Arrays have length values. And then in order to iterate through it, we need to increment the value of i. So there's our loop. And selecting the list items, and we want to select the text from the list items. So using the list items and the index value of i as we iterate through it, that allows us to select and get the text value from the list item. And now what we want to do is we want to add that list item so to the target body contents and then use the append list item method and what text we want to append. So we've got that within the list item text. And then in order to make it a bullet, we can set the glyph type and then using the document and glyph type and then the type of glyph that we want to set it. So we want to set it to a bullet. So what this does is this uh, script is going to assume that the source document has at least one bulleted point and the source document has not have any bulleted lists or the so now we can are ready to run through the script and then we see all the list items we can go into our drive select the new document and there's our newly created document from the current list items that we had within that existing document so that's how you can select list items from your document body and then add them into a brand new document. And if you do want to add to an existing document, so let's do that as well. We'll select the document ID instead of creating a new document. And we'll give it the same variable name and using the document app and then open by ID. And then this is where we specify the ID of the document. So what this will do is this is going to add to that existing document a second list of values. To use the new document, we can select it this way. I'd actually selected that existing document and added a second list of values. So once again, select the document that you want to use. And instead of getting the active document, so if this was a standalone script, we could open by ID instead of getting the active document. And then the ID would be the ID value of the document that is going to be our source document. So it's our source document. And then this is going to be the target document. So this is if you don't want to create a new one and you just want to append to the existing one, you run the code and there's the new list of values that are being appended to the new document.